Hello, Home and Stead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your August 29th, 2022 Monday Motivator. It's almost the end of the summer. I know that's a scary thing to admit. We Wisconsinites love our summer because we know winter is coming. And it's getting close to the end. Next week is the unofficial end of the summer when Labor Day happens. Uh, but the end of the summer makes me t typically think of uh, old car shows. My dad loved old cars and I loved them with him. He restored a few in his time and, and when he passed away, I inherited his uh, 1986 Mustang convertible. I love driving it with my dog Clive. We go through the, the backwoods and just see old farm roads and such. It's, it's so much fun to drive and every now and then I'll take it to a car show and, and just display it, uh, kind of in honor of my dad. It's not one of the fanciest ones there at all, but it's still fun. But one of the things I hear at car shows all the time is they don't make them like they used to. And the thing is, that's a good thing. If you know anything about cars, cars now last so much longer than they used to. They are so much safer than they used to be. My Hyundai Elantra, which is just a, a little passenger car, is a much better sports vehicle than my 1986 Mustang convertible. Now, at, at the time, the, the Mustang was a great car with great handling, but even the most modest car now is significantly better. And yet, you'll hear people all the time say, they don't make them like they used to. Now, it's common for generations to have pride and to, to look at the other generations and go, they're just not as good as us. But as you know, one of the attributes of our core value, love the verb, but one of the attributes is humility. And humility is admitting you don't have everything right and that you don't have all the answers and that you're not better than everybody else. It's one of the things we strive for as a company is to be humble people. It enables us to wash others' feet and take care of them. Humility is one of those attributes that can be, well, it can be a little hard to work on because it implies putting others before yourself. Here are a few things that I think help with humility. The first is to stop talking. Now, I know that's funny because I'm talking to you right now, but listening is one of the best things we can do. And in order to listen well, well, we need to first stop talking. Yeah, we need to ask questions and such too, but we need to be able to stop talking, to want to hear the other person before we hear ourselves talk, to be curious about them. So stop talking. The other thing is to admit our faults. That's really hard now. In a time period quite often where people think to admit a failure is to be weak. But my faith actually teaches me the opposite, that when we admit our failures, uh, that is a sign of strength and points to us getting things better. One of the third things I like to do to promote humility is to give others credit, to be a cheerleader for other people, to recognize when they do something right and to praise it. Instead of trying to get the glory for myself, I'm sharing the glory with other people. And the last thing that I think is really important for humility is to have an open mind and always be learning. We talk about that at Homestead all the time, of having a growth mindset. Well, that implies always learning new things and realizing that there are some things in the past that they don't make them like that anymore and they were really good then but also there are things now that would have never been made in the past they're so much better and we can learn from both of them my faith teaches me that humility is one of the most important attributes i hope you grow in humility this week and that you wash others feet as a result of it if you learned nothing else, remember nothing else from this, uh, this video, I hope you remember this. Our CEO, God cares for you, and so do I. Have a great week, okay?